the BRCA testing is what we've traditionally done because we know that about 10% of ovarian cancer patients will have a germline or genetic predisposition to their ovarian cancer. And that by detecting those things, now we can offer them inhibitors like PARP inhibitors that are sort of gene specific. In addition, we can help them prevent other cancers like breast cancer if they've never had that or even pancreas cancer um, if they have a BRCA2 mutation. Um, so those are things we can do for the patient themselves. In addition, there's cascade testing, which is sort of the name that we give to testing people in someone's family once a genetic mutation's been identified. So there are lots of things we can do with that. Now, panel testing is looking at the same type of thing, but looking at many, many genes at once. So not just BRCA1 and 2, but including many genes that may confer risk, such as RAD51C, RAD51D, BRIP, CHECK1, I mean, there's lots of these. Um, more really than a, than a gynecologic oncologist can probably counsel somebody about individually. When there's only one or two genes, I think it was a little easier. I think it's really hard to completely counsel someone for panel testing, which is why the genetic counseling portion of the session was so important to talk about how patients really, really can benefit and should be have an opportunity to meet with a genetic counselor.